Okay, y'all, so today's lesson is about Hannah. And the reason why I'm teaching this lesson, because I'm here to tell you to respect your mother and be a very good mother. And Hannah is going to be my example. But anyway, so in the scriptures, there was a woman by the name Hannah. And she was one of the wise women of Elkanah. And Elkanah have two wives. And the other wife have many children. But Hannah didn't have any children. So Hannah went up to the temple to pray or worship. And Hannah was in there praying. And while she was praying, she was moving her lips. But the sound of the word was it coming out because she was praying in silence. Like you and I do sometimes. You know, I pray in silence sometimes. Okay? Anyway, she was praying in silence, and Eli, who was the judge and leader of Israel at that time of day, but he looked at Hannah and said, Hannah must must have the spirits of Ula. So Eli think that she was drunk, that she drank too much wine. So yes, Eli went to her and excused her falsely but Hannah said Eli that I don't have the spirits of Ula in me that's such a of way but Hannah said my problem is that I have not brought any children see like I said Hannah didn't have any children and she going on to say so my lips is not moving because I drank that wine or I was drunk or nothing kind of spirit by praying outside of my heart because I desired to have a child. And Eli told her and said, go on and may the most high Yah bless you at point to the prayer. It came to time that she had that baby. She have a baby now. Anyways, I'll make this long story too short. But yeah, but anyways, the baby was named Samuel. Hannah had Samuel. Okay. And Samuel was a good man. He was a good Hebrew. I'm not going to talk much about Samuel though. But, but anyways. So when you study the history behind Hannah. Behind the background. What all Hannah did. And she is a perfect example of a good mother. A good woman. And now here's a thing that I'll say she's a good mother of, that Hannah is a peaceful mother or a peaceful woman. This sign, a peaceful mother, woman or a mother will always ensure that her children or her child is in peaceful, in a peaceful situation. Let's just say, if I do anything to put my child in an atmosphere and there was one thing that Hannah made sure to Samuel that she made sure that he was in a peaceful, peaceful situation and that's why Hannah said I'm not going to take the child and put him in any type of situation to he win once he win she will show his pressure precision in life to even a more peaceful situation because she take him up to the pit, the temple when the Mosiah desired, when the Mosiah desired, okay? So yeah, that is a great sign of a good mother, a good woman. And number two, a protecting woman. A woman who will protect her child no matter what. 
So that protective woman will make sure that her children are protected. And yes, it can be required for her to use a gun as well from danger. So yes, a protecting woman, that is a sign of a good woman as well. Protecting your child is a sign of a good mother as well. And number three, Hannah was a praying woman. And yes, a praying woman is a sign of a good mother as well. And as you know, Hannah said that for this child, I pray. See, let me just let you know that Hannah is a praying mother. And yes, we still do have praying mothers. And we need more of them. And we will have loving children. And we need more of them. And we will have more children who's behaving in the righteousness. And did you know that so many women caught what they want? And do you know that mothers has driven their children in purpose? Or driven their children in purpose? So yes, those are the three. Again, number one is a peaceful woman who always makes sure that their child is peace is peaceful or make sure that their children is peaceful and you know number two is a protecting woman or protecting mother who make sure that their children are protected make sure that she will protect her children no matter what and get some help from the Messiah. and number three a praying woman who prays for the children yes mother who's out there you have to be a protecting woman or let me put it in order you have to be a peaceful woman or a peaceful mother, a protecting mother or a protecting woman, and last, a praying mother. Those three are the signs of a good mother. And yes, you can pray to the Most High Yah and, you, and say, help me to be a peaceful mother, help me to be a protector mother or protecting mother, and help me to be a prayer mother. You can not pray to the Most High Yah those things. Yes, yeah, just please remember, make sure that your children, make sure that you are respecting your mother, respect your mother, and spend time with her. Yeah, guys, that's why I'm going to end up right here. Rise up among us, most high God, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate thee, and let them flee before thee. Your name is Sanya Usha Mashiach, and we pray. Hallelujah.